Hi, Keen family. Ellen here. I wanted to have a conversation this week instead of sharing a written blog. And there's been something I've wanted to talk to you guys about for a long time. And, of course, it has to do with Keen. And it has to do with the vibration. Because what I hear from you guys a lot is... I don't need it. I'm already aware. Keen vibrates when I don't want it to. It doesn't vibrate when I want it to. The vibration's annoying. It doesn't work. And I gotta tell you that it doesn't work that way. So you guys are here because you wanna take control of your hair pulling, skin picking, nail biting. I'm a hair puller. I found Keen back in 2017. I bought two, I put them both on, I didn't train them right, vibrated all the time in the wrong times, and I thought this is gonna end up in the closet. But then I hopped on a training call, and I learned how to train it, and then it started to work, and what I mean by work is it vibrated, for the most part, about 80% of the time it vibrated when I was doing my behavior. But that's not what helped me take control of my hair pulling. What helped me take control is I changed my mindset. And I decided that this vibration, whenever it happened, when I was doing my behavior, or maybe I was doing something else like this, it was a hug on my wrist. That the keen vibration was a hug telling me, Ellen, you are a rock star. You are amazing. You're training your awareness muscles. Go you! Instead of, what the heck is wrong with me? Why can't I stop? And I suck. Because for 40 years, I felt that way. And I'm pretty confident that those out there listening to me kind of probably felt the same way. Because if you didn't, you wouldn't be listening to me. <laughs> you wouldn't be looking to try to take control. This is not a cure. This is the cure your brain. You, you associate this awesome vibration, true, positive, or a false alarm, doesn't matter. Every single time it goes off, it's a hug or whatever gives you joy. It's a hug. It's a doggy licking your face. It's your best friend whispering in your ear. It's whatever brings you joy. And the other thing is, it's never going to be 100%. Are any of you out there, like, happy 100% of the time? Because if you are, you got to call me up and let me know what your secret is. And I'm sure you're not. If we feel good, feel, feel good. 80% of the time, we feel 80% good. That's a win. And that's the same thing with this. If about 80% of the time it catches you when you're doing your behavior... Awesome! Rock on! <laughs> Celebrate it! And if you get a couple false alarms, even 20%. Oh my God, that's amazing! Because those false alarms are letting you know that you're doing something awesome for you. Because you're awesome! Now, come closer. If you're getting like a lot of false alarms, then you're doing something wrong. It's probably not trained right. So what do you do? You don't make up an excuse. Do you know what an excuse is? An excuse is just a decision not to solve a problem. So what do you do? You solve the problem. You retrain it. You read our stuff on the web. You email me and schedule a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me and I'll help you get it trained properly. But what you have to do is you have to use your brain and change your mindset and decide that this awesome thing is something awesome, whatever it is for you. And every time it goes off, it's your cue that your hands are not where you want them to be. No judgment, it's okay. Our hands are just not where, they want them, where we want them to be. Clap and celebrate, give yourself a high five, and then pause and notice what's going on. Am I tired, am I hungry, am I angry? Am I just bored? And make changes based on those moments because every moment is different. 
And every single time you celebrate because you are doing something awesome for you. Okay, so that's what I wanted to say. And I just had a little bit of a struggle figuring out how to write it. But just saying it to you and having this conversation just feels so good. I love, I just love, I just love working and being with all of you and having all of you in my corner. And I want you to know that I'm in every single one of yours corner. So maybe your hug is me. Maybe it's me on your shoulder cheering you on. But you can do this. You can do hard things. And if you have any questions, just email me. Ellen at habitaware.com. Have a great Wednesday.